What tips um, can can you give me? I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got to admit, uh, I'm stepping in some big shoes here. You are They're only size not, seven. Are they only size seven? Oh, I'm size eight. Seven, yeah. In which case, forget about it. I'm fine. <laughs> what advice can you give me? Because I, I know that a lot of, the, I mean, people are going to really, really, really miss you here. What advice can you give me? I think just have fun and enjoy it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, if you have fun and you enjoy it, that will come across to people, and um, I'm sure you will. Do. I mean, having worked with you last season, I think you'll be absolutely brilliant at it, and um, you know, I'll be there in the stand, watching and and listening. I'll. Yeah. I, I just Fulham goal scorer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can chuck the mic out to you every now and then. Yeah. Do, do a guest announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. But uh, no, I think just just enjoy it, and um, I know you will do. I mean, you'll be here in the dugout. Mm. Uh, the setup here is that. Uh, uh, this is a very crowded little room. Right. Uh, you'll have the fourth official here. You probably have a couple of media people as well. You'll find out who your friends are. Right. Uh, one of the big problems with when we score a goal is that up this side you've got the Fulham mm. uh, manager and, and, and maybe assistant manager or coach. Yep. You've got the away people here. Sometimes you get some other hanger, hangers on in the dugout as well. And you really are ducking and diving either side of them to see who scored the goal. But um, the people in the dugouts can be very helpful. And, um, it, you know, with the away people, if they score a goal, they're only too happy to tell you who got it if you don't, if you don't see it yourself. And uh, with our lot as well. I did once have a, a joker here. I think it was Bobby Zamora, actually, who, who gave me the wrong information and told me that it was somebody else. Right. But luckily, because it was him, I didn't believe him anyway. OK, so. <laughs> that's fine. It was a mixed season, obviously. Uh, I mean, it was incredible for me because I, I, I landed arguably my dream job as a Fulham fan and as a season to get older. I got to then, you know, work here and, and be amongst the players. And, and oh, it was unbelievable as jobs mm. go. Um, so I loved it. But I know for a lot of people, obviously, it was a tough season, uh, a lot of changes going on. Uh, firstly, what are your thoughts on, on the season that's just been and, and, and how do you think we're going to fare next season? Well, I think, you know, uh, relegation is a very difficult thing to take for everybody. It goes right through the club and, you know, some good people unfortunately left uh, in the summer. Uh, but, you know, lots of good people like your, your good self uh, will, will still be here. Uh, new players will be coming in, will be fired up with uh, new mm. enthusiasm. Um, difficult to tell in the first few weeks, I think you'll get a handle on, on how it's all going. Obviously, I hope it goes really well and I hope we get back um, in the first season because it'd be tremendous to see. Uh, I mean, um, one thing about Fulham is that everybody loves Fulham. You know, people love to come here. Look at the stadium. Nice. Look at the character of the place. Mm. There's no other football ground like this anywhere. And people have loved coming here. And I've had messages from people at other football clubs around the country saying, you know, we're going to miss you. I don't mean... They don't mean me personally, but they're going to miss coming to Fulham. Oh, yeah. Um, so I, I think that's where we belong, and it would be great if we, we get back there again. I really hope we do. You know, bounce back ability, that's what you want. You want to get back up there as, as quickly as you can. There'll be lots of London clubs playing here, lots of nice derbies. Um, and as I said before, lots of big clubs coming here and, you know, big crowds when we go away. I mean, it's a very decent league. The Premier League isn't, mm. the, isn't the only uh, league worth watching. You yeah. know? So um, I, I think that for the older people like me who have been around for a long time, uh, we've known a, a lot worse than this. You know, I mean, mm. uh, when, uh, when in the Mickey Adams promotion season, we were in the old third division and almost in danger of dropping out of the league altogether mm. it's a, it's tougher for the young people younger people who've none who've known nothing else but success mm. but you know hopefully they'll stay around and you know, keep the faith and we'll be back again yeah uh, so a tough question this one is going to be because you've seen so many but what would be your favorite goal that you've seen here at favorite goal well, i think um Clint Dempsey's winner mm. against Juventus and uh, the atmosphere at the Hammersmith end when he scored that goal. Once again, a, a vital goal, mm. you know, terrific goal. So and it almost seemed two. slow motion, didn't it? When it, it kind of floated in. Yes. It, very, yes. very surreal. And um, what about favourite player, the best player that you think has, has, has played here over the years? Oh, over the years? Mm. Well, uh, of course, the outstanding player has to be Johnny Haynes, mm. uh, who I would have seen play here when I was a boy. Um, standing behind the goal at the putney end as you could then and getting as near to the pitch as you could. Uh, I mean, I first came here when I was, I was nine. At that time, you could walk right round the ground. You'd go where, where you liked. And there was no stand here. This was open to the river and a very, very cold ground. 
But Johnny Haynes was just a sublime player. And, um, of course, he, he was the first 100-pound-a-week uh, footballer. Yeah. And he had to thank... The Brill Cream Boy. The Brill Cream Boy. Yeah. And he had to thank um, Jimmy Hill, who was the uh, president of the PFA uh, for that. Uh, Fulham captain, England captain, obviously our greatest son. And there's his statue, which is amazing um, likeness. And do you know what that statue is actually saying? It's actually talking to Tosh Chamberlain. Is it? Uh, with his hands it, and he's saying, Tosh... Do you call that a pass? <laughs> is that a joke? <laughs> is that true? Oh, wow. And yeah. actually, of all the um, football statues, uh, and I've seen a few, I think that is the best. It's a wonderful, yeah. wonderful statue. Um, so, yeah, I think Johnny Haynes. And it's also been a great pleasure working with George Cohen mm. uh, because George um, is an absolute legend. Obviously, he was a member of the England team that won the World Cup in 1966. And... Um, He's a very, very good personal friend. We had dinner together the other night, and uh, it's just been such a pleasure working with George because he knows more about the game than, than anybody. Mm. So he is now, without doubt, uh, the greatest Fulham living legend. Yeah. And what about um, players uh, whilst you're working here at the club? Well, I, I think we've had some outstanding players here in uh, the last few years. Somebody mm. asked me to name my all-time great Fulham team, which is a, a very difficult thing to do. But there were Ooh, two but people... I kind of want to hear now. Well, there were two people that I put into it. One was uh, Mark Schwarzer, mm. who I think was a tremendous goalkeeper and just got the nod over Edwin van der Sar. Yeah. I mean, both of them outstanding goalkeepers. Um, I think Mark Schwarzer, you know, playing up to the age of about 40 and yeah. being as fit and such a terrific pro. Um, the other one was Breda Hangeland, who mm. uh, was just... I mean, George Cohen was... He, has been his biggest fan and um, you know when I think when Breda and Aaron Hughes were playing together uh, at, you know at the peak of their careers they were the best uh, central defenders in the country mm. so well, they uh, were I think they were responsible for Fortress Fulham weren't they as, as it was as it was known well Roy built built the team around a great defense mm. and they were the heart of the defense and when you had uh, Mark Schwartz and uh, Breda and Aaron Hughes we didn't give many goals away at all yeah so um, they they were two of the players who were in my uh, all-time Fulham great team along with George Cohen and Johnny Haynes and some of the other greats that I've seen down the years I'd agree with all of those. And what about a, a particular standout moment that you'd say summed up your time here? Uh, oh, off the pitch as well. It doesn't have to be on the pitch. Oh, off the pitch as well. Yeah. Because you've met some characters here. Yeah, we've had some great characters here. We've had um, Hugh Grant, who's uh, you know a long-time Fulham supporter. Uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. How was that? Was that, was that weird? Yeah. A lot of it. No one believed it. I, I remember being in the stands thinking that's just a lookalike. Everyone thought that was a lookalike. No one believed it. Well, did, I, did you know it was? Yes, I, well, projection? I did because I knew that he'd been here opening the Harrod sale for Mohammed Al Fayed, right. and um, I knew that he'd invited him to the match, and he'd never been to a soccer match because he'd come and see my team. So somebody said to me, "Stand by, in a couple of minutes' time, you'll be introducing Michael Jackson." So <laughs> I thought, "Well, okay, that's fair well, enough. I believe it." Yeah. So when uh, when I got the cue, I said, "Ladies and gentlemen." Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one, the only, Michael Jackson. And uh, out he came, and he came walking around Hammersmith, and walking around in front of the, uh, what was then uh, called the Stevenage Road stand. Yeah. And um, to, I can only describe as polite applause. You know, <laughs> I think people uh, thought it was a lookalike, as you said. Yeah. And, um, well, it, was a, it was a joke as far as we're all concerned. We didn't yes, think it was actually Michael he was, Jackson. He had a black and white umbrella uh, yeah. over his head, although it was a sunny day like today. He looked about five stone dripping wet, you know, because a, a, a gust of wind would have blown him into the Thames. And I think by the time he got halfway uh, round what is now the Johnny Haynes stand, the penny dropped. Yeah. People realised it was Michael Jackson. Uh, the next person who came here was Tony Curtis. Right. My agent, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Tony Curtis. This time people believed it, and he actually ran up the steps of the um, Hammersmith stand and um, kissed a couple of uh, ladies, lady supporters up there. Really? Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, up, up until then, you know, we'd had Hugh Grant and we'd had a few other celebrities as well. We had some glamour girls here. We had uh, Jordan, we had Linda Lusardi, yeah. and they would come on the pitch and present the the winner of the Fulham Flutter yeah. with, the, with the actual Reddies, you know. Lovely. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So but it's, it's all been fun. It's been 18 years of tremendous fun. And, um, you know, 
I'll be very interested in, in following the ongoing story of this incredible football club. Yeah. I tell you what, it's, 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 it's been a pleasure chatting to you. I mean, it was a pleasure Jeez, meeting right. you last season when I actually got to meet you. I you know, know, like well, I said, we, had, you're, you're we so had a lot of fun, didn't we? We, we had, had a great time. had a lot of laughs. Uh, I had to tell them a joke before every match to try and... Uh, yeah. Should I do any of my jokes? No, probably not. <laughs> Are no, there any no, you can uh, repeat? No, probably not, no. <laughs> no, no. You'll have to wait for his uh, stand-up DVD to come yeah. out for those. No, in my um, case, it's a sit-down DVD. Sit-down DVD. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's a joke. We'll take that joke. Everyone's going to miss you here, uh, and uh, me included, and I, I'm just honoured to well, be, be... I'll still be here, and um, I can only say that if everybody would like to buy me a drink, um, you know, it would go down very well. Yeah, that's, there we go. So you see him, you've got to buy him a drink. Also me as well, please. Can we do that? <laughs> buy me a drink. I've not quite earned it yet, but, you know. Okay. Listen, what I want you to do okay. is, uh, is wish you the very, very best of luck. Have fun. Mm. I would say break a leg, but I don't think that's appropriate in uh, football parlance. No. But have at least 18 seasons like me Hopefully. and enjoy them as much as I have. David, thank you so Good much. Luck, I feel like we should hug it out. Can yeah, we yeah. hug it out? There we go. Oh, it's a bromance. <laughs> it's a, it is a bromance. <laughs> thank you so much, David.